Hello everyone and welcome back to Brooks Beauty Bazaar, my little corner of the internet where we talk about everything from skincare to beauty and mental health to fashion. My name is Brooke and today we are going to be talking about how to tell whether or not you have malassezia or fungal acne. <laughs> So fungal acne's scientific name is pitreosporum folliculitis and the definite only way to tell whether or not you truly have it is to go to a dermatologist and have them do a test on your skin. Usually they'll scrape some off the surface and then do a little test to see whether or not it's fungus or not. However, that isn't foolproof all the time because a lot of the times there is some bacteria in it as well and then the fungus is actually deeper into your skin so they may not get that by just scraping the pimple. So, if you guys got negative results at the dermatologist or you're just not going to want to go to the dermatologist, here's some other helpful ways to know whether or not the acne that you're suffering from is actually fungal. One thing is the bumps on your skin will just be like acne-like bumps. They'll be on your face, especially in your T-zone. They'll be on your shoulders, your chest, your back. Um, they could kind of be a little bit everywhere and they are often accompanied by itching. Um, itching is a huge part of it for me personally. That was one of my big tip offs. And then also the products that you put on your skin might actually cause it to be more irritated and more itchy than it was originally. That would be another tip off. They also might be just really stubborn so they don't respond to any types of treatment that you've done and if you're in that place that's probably what brought you to this video anyway um, so that would be a good indication. So another really cool way to tell is actually to do a black light test on your skin at home. So get a black light, shine them on those pimples and if those like pustule types look like they have a tinge of orange, red, or coral to them then they'd actually be bacterial acne and if you shine it on them and they look like they have a yellow, white, or blue tinge inside of them, then they are more than likely the malassezia and fungus in there. Um, so that's a really cool way to tell. I don't, I, I didn't do that, but <laughs> I kind of want to now if I get one of those. If you are somebody who suffers from dermatitis, from eczema, from psoriasis, from a um, dandruff problem on your skin, um, anything that's kind of topical on your skin, rash wise, that you can't really get rid of. Um, I actually have, I don't think I have psoriasis, but I think I might have something like psoriasis right here on my ear. And then I have this lip problem that could be eczema, it could be psoriasis, it could be some kind of contact dermatitis. Um, my hands get contact dermatitis so bad and to the point where for the last five years, I haven't been able to do anything to help my hands. Um, the only thing that I can seem to do is to try to um, just stay away from any chemical or any soap and trying to figure out which ones of those are safe or not safe has been the death of me if I'm honest with you guys and then also eczema I get really bad eczema right here on my arms um, part of it is caused by a gluten intolerance I am aware of but it's also that it doesn't just go away just because I don't eat gluten anymore um, and then I would say I get dandruff on a pretty regular basis but that could be whether or not I'm using too much dry shampoo <laughs> it's definitely hard to say but if you you have a lot of those skin type problems like me and you put the treatments that are designed specifically for psoriasis and acne and yada 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 on your skin and they're doing nothing um, especially if they're not a prescription one then more than likely you probably have fungus on your skin because those are all born out of a fungal type condition anyway um, and so that's kind of how you tell and to be honest with you guys I think all the I know the the soap that I was using in the shower every day of my life um, the hand soaps that I was using the chemicals that I had to be around at work all the time um, and still do and the lotions and everything that I bought and tried was actually making my skin ten times itchier every single time that I applied it and it would just never seem to really cure anything and that's really why I just was like okay you know what enough's enough I know that the products are making it worse so that's why I just didn't use them anymore and so I may as well just try this because I have nothing left to lose so if that is where you are right now then I would highly encourage you to try this treatment process and um, go on this journey with me because I'm going to be taking you straight through it so now that we have kind of determined how to tell whether or not you have fungal acne and we know that yes you might need a dermatologist but there are some really cool ways you can figure it out on your own I just wanted to share two really amazing resources with you guys there is one website that came up 
multiple times and it is called simpleskincarescience.com. The author of this website is incredible, has done so much research and has even compiled lists of products that are safe to use for fungal acne so you guys can start to kind of swap your products out right now if you're interested in that point. Um, another resource that I love is Olena Bailey. She's on Instagram and she has a whole business related to this process. However, um, she also has a website and a YouTube channel that I will link below so that you guys can check out her videos and kind of take her advice as well because they are amazing in the message that they're preaching when it comes to acne and skincare. Those are my tips and tricks for how to tell whether or not you guys have fungal acne. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications um, so that you will know every time I post a new video. Um, moving on from here, we are gonna start getting into product reviews, regime reviews, and just totally overhauling the whole process. So I'm actually gonna plan on starting with basic skincare because I think that's the core of everything and then we can build on makeup from there. But I look forward to seeing you guys next time and I hope you have a wonderful day. I will talk to you guys really soon. Bye guys.